Hello everyone, welcome to Ang Mai. Today let us discuss about the Shrin Revolution. Before going to discussion, please subscribe to my channel and support me. Let us discuss about the Shrin Revolution, which is going on in Iraq from last five months. And now we will see about why it is started and why it is continuing. And also what is the causes behind this. We will discuss all about this now. Let us see about the location of the Iraq in the map. Iraq is, in, is the country which is in Western Asia and it, it having the neighboring countries. Uh, Iran in, is in the east side of Iraq. They both having good relationship and historical and cultural ties. And in the northern side, it had Turkey in western side Syria and also Jordan in, and in South Saudi Arabia and also it shares the border with Kuwait. Some issues also happened regarding this border with Kuwait. In Iraq, most of the population settled in the delta of the rivers that is Tigris and Euphrates. That is the major population centers and Iraq, Iraq seen many wars in, in, in its history. In Iraq, lakhs of people doing protest. Sometimes it has been peaceful protest. Sometimes it's not. So what is the reason behind this protest? If you see the photo, footages of the protest, you can find young people of Iraq doing the protest. It is started by the young people of the Iraq. They are mostly unemployed because of the economy and political system of the Iraq. They have started this protest because of this main reason is unemployment. And this uh, protest is started very peacefully but day by day it, uh, it got violated. So this this revolution named as Tishrin. Tishrin means October because this revolution is started in October month. Let's see how it started. In September, unemployed graduate young people started the protest and demanded for employment. But Iraq government not given any response to them. So they started one campaign in social media about to protest in big scale. In the beginning, unemployed youth started this protest, but day by day other people also joined with them. Whoever unhappy with the Iraq government, they joined with them in many numbers. They had many reason to protest regarding water supply, current, many more issues. So it started from 1st October and some people also called it as Arab Spring 2.0 because protest is going on in many Arab countries from past 2011. So they link this protest with that protest which is happened in past in Arab countries. This Tishrin protest is started from Baghdad but quickly spread it to another provinces too. Big reason behind this protest is corruption because Iraq government is the one of the big corrupted government in the world. Whenever you see the corruption index report, you can find Iraq is in, the, in between 1st to 10 places. This protest is going on in the past 16 years. And another main reason about this protest is unemployment of the graduate people. And also uh, next reason is inefficient public service that may be water, electricity etc. Even in Baghdad, the capital city of the Iraq facing this problem. In Baghdad city also, they are not getting uh, 24 into 7 water and electricity supplies. So, people asking with their government about the revenue that coming from oil and petroleum. Where it is, they asking with their government about where it is going and where, where these incomes are invested 
बिकॉज देयर इन बिकॉज देयर ऑयल रेवेन्यू इज इक्वल टू द ऑयल रेवेन्यू ऑफ यू ए आस्किंग ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन पीपल स्टार्टेड प्रोटेस्ट अगेन द इराक गवर्नमेंट एंड अनदर बिग रीजन इज इरान इरान इज द नेबर ऑफ इराक फ्रॉम मेनी इयर्स इरान इंटरवेंशन इन इराक After 2011, U.S. pulled out their forces in Iraq. Iran has started intervention in Iraq. So now people saying to stop the intervention of Iran in Iraq in Iraq's political and other affairs, and stop their influence on their PM and also ministers from ministers. From many years, Iraq's officials act as a puppets or a doll of iran government so these all the reason for the protest now let's see about protesters demand in the starting this protest is started against unemployment but now it's against political system too so now they are demanding for end of political system because this system acts upon sect sectarian divides and they specially pointing out about the government appointments which are made on the basis of sectarians sectarians or ethnic ethnic quotas uh, ethnic quotas means like shia sunni etc rather than considering the merit they are selecting the op uh, officials on the basis of their ethnics Uh, there may be shias there may be sunnis and etc on this basis they are selecting so people are against this now uh, now you can see the iraq's demography here population is around 3.88 crores in that muslims 95 to 98 percent in that muslim they have another two category one is shia in is another one is sunni in shia 64 to 69 percent are muslims are shia muslims another remaining 29 to 34 percent are sunni muslim after the death of saddam hussein shias dominating in iraq shia started dominate sunnis saddam hussein is a sunni muslim Being a minority Sunni Muslim, Saddam Hussein was a very popular and powerful leader of Iraq. Now let us see. It is now this is now this protest is not in between Shia Shia or Sunni Muslims. This protest is against the government of Iraq. Here Shias and Sunnis are fight fighting together against the government. starting it was peaceful protest but when police entered in this protest it became violent in this protest around 600 civilians are died when police and militias entered and started attack attacking iraqi citizens it became more violent here militias means people from iran who will attack protesters and assassinate them and fire live bullets on them and they don't have military dress or anything you can see in some footages and videos who covers their faces with kerchiefs mask and some clothes all they are the militias they are from iranis when protest is going on in baghdad iran backed militias snipers on baghdad rooftops when these militias started snipering on baghdad rooftops protesters also get angry in many places protesters start to set fire to government vehicles and also government offices and headquarters of political parties etc and also they started revenge killing revenge killing of police officials and uh, and policemen and many more peoples for this uh, militias also started to take revenge militias also started killing many activists and protesters and uh, started assassinate 
started assassinating many uh, peoples of Iraq. And when by seeing all these, Iraqis get very angry about Iran and one night they burnt Iran consulates. After seeing these protests and movements, Iraq PM get resigned. But after resigning the uh, PM, Iraqi people said, we are not against you, but we are against entire system. We don't want resignation from you. We, are, we, have, we want to change the entire political system. So there is no use if you resign from your PM post. They said like this to their PM. In between these, in December and then January 1st week, some important issues are happened. USA started a strike against Iranian militias. So then Iranian militias started attacking against both the USA and Iraq. Now after interfering USA, protests become more violent. In between this, in the December and, and January first week, some important issues are happened. USA started a strike against Iranian militias. So then Iran, Iranian militias started attacking against now both the USA and Iraq. So after interfering USA, the protests become more violent. In between this, on the 1st of February, Muhammad Allawi became the Prime Minister of Iraq, but protesters rejected the Muhammad Allawi because they don't believe that if by changing the person, the system will change. So they rejected the new PM. But Muhammad Allawi promised the protester about eliminating the corruption in the entire system. But still protest is going on. That is the 14th February of 2020 when I am recording this video. Uh, so this is all about Tishrin Revolution and thank you for watching this video. Sorry if I did any pronunciation mistake and please subscribe to my channel and support me and share with your friends and tell them also to subscribe my channel. I will come with more videos in following days. Thank you once again.